the spokesperson for the All Progressive Congress presidential campaign council, Fessos Kayamu, has revealed what Bola Ahmed Tinubu's son, Sheyi, told him about the health of his father. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, a former governor of Lagos State and national leader of the All Progressive Congress, in, is currently in London, United Kingdom. According to the aides, he will be back in Nigeria soon. The former governor is the presidential candidate of the ruling party. Reacting in an exclusive interview with her rights television this morning, Festus Kayamu stated that Bola Ahmed Tinubu is hale, hearty, and healthy. The Minister of State for Labor and Productivity said, I spoke with his son this morning. I spoke with Sheyi and he said Ashwaju is fine. He was sleeping. He added that it is not mandatory for uh, Ashwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu to issue statements about his health and whereabouts because he is not the president. Hmm. By the time he becomes the president and they will begin to give you excuses, that's a, just like a family you know, is telling some people when he was being interviewed. He said because for the fact that you elected a president does not give you right to begin to move him and toss him around. He can decide on what to do or what to say and what not to say and choose what to say and when not to say it. That is what they are telling us. So by the time he becomes president, they begin to give you, you don't have rights. It's, it's private or whatever to so himself. Oh my God. Now, you begin to ask now, because they are so shameless, is that how Boris Johnson or the new prime minister now, or uh, what is it called? We say we are giants of Africa. If we are really giants of Africa, let us not even go to other say Western world. How many of these African countries, their leaders have even come to Nigeria, at least to look, at least to look up to us, that we are the giants of Africa, we are big, we are, that, we are big, we are this, we are that, to have come to re relax. Or for, come for vacation. At least all those African countries are supposed to be coming to our country since we are the giants of Africa. How many of them have you seen here in Nigeria? Not to talk of a, other countries that all these shameless people go to. To go and do what? You are relaxing another mass. Unto what? I can't even get it. Because they are so shameless. They don't have, they don't have shame. They don't have shame. What is he doing there? Is that a good omen? They will tell you, buy Nigeria, grow Nigeria. Let us patronize our, our things. Are there no hotels? Are there no good things that they said he has built? He has built a lot of built things in Lagos, and yet the is the, the Lagos is so uncomfortable for him to say any little thing because they want to at least they, they want us to believe that uh, it is not it's not going there on medical records. Okay, let us assume that you are going there for vacation. Is this even justifiable? It's not justifiable. Yeah, see, yeah, this one. I called his son, he said he was sleeping. Oh my God. You can come and defend because all of you that will defend and be saying this, you don't have shame. We are supposed to build our country. Then they will not tell you, the younger ones, those who they jack back, what are you going there to do? This and that. Let us sit down. Let us build, let us build our country. Let us build our country. I will always ask, is it the man on the streets that make policies? You that make policies, you can't even stay in the country. All of them. Tinumbu, London. Aisha Buhari, Dubai. Article Dubai, all of them just like that, moving from like a people where they, they pursue for their house. You have done Nigeria, you have done so well, and yes, you cannot stay back. And, yet, and if you have done so well in the country, at least, at least you should be able to attract a lot of outsiders to the country. Oh, to say that, yes, we learned that things are going on fine in Nigeria, let us come and enjoy it. Have you ever seen people rushing to Nigeria? If really if that is the best thing, somebody was asking that, uh, oh. Nigeria, uh, the Lagos is the worst, uh, I mean, third or whatever um, city to live in this country. Somebody say, hey, why are people coming to, to Lagos? Why are people rushing? Are you okay? Are you normal? Don't we have people in the village? Even when we think that, uh, oh, there are some places, okay, we have towns, we have uh, villages. You, you see a lot of people moving from town to village, uh, from a village to town. Does it mean you don't have people in the village? People still be in the village now. What are you talking about? Okay, as a... Uh, uh, whatever you might even talk about the village every December time, you people always they will rush to that their village, you, no matter where they are, even where you, whether you're there or you go, you will still come back to your village. So, what are you talking about? So, for the fact that people are coming to do Christmas, are coming to do whatever they are doing in their village, or they want to go and see one or two persons, or, or does it mean people are not staying in the village? Does it mean, mean, mean that uh, because of that, you will not come to your village? Because that argument, eh, they will say Lagos is not good, then what are they looking for in Lagos? Are you okay? So where would they now go? Where would people go? The same people, when it's Christmas time, whether even abroad, people will still go to their village. 
So because the village is not developed, they will not go there. And they have said, let the seaport. There is what is pursuing people now. It's because of the seaport. And the other day, one of the we learned that sixty five percent of a uh, goods that's been deposited in the in the in the ports in Lagos sixty five percent go to the to the southeast. Why is it that the port cannot be there? And you are telling us that they did in Lagos. That they did in Lagos. Ah. It's just unfortunate, really. <laughs> he will sleep forever. <laughs> As long as he, sleep, he will sleep forever. Okay. By the time he wakes up, the election will be over. <laughs> okay. Oh, Igbo people didn't even have a better things to offer Nigeria than war. Oh, see this one. Oh yeah, give them war back now. Uh uh-uh. You cannot do without mentioning Igbo. I don't understand though. They are talking now. The APC people are talking now. I no can know which one can consign Igbo. I will say where they and the what else other one full and where they where they where they beat with a blue back black and white. Now no go fi game and talk to them. Now only it goes. They they talk they they some they, there's there, there's going to be a, a different conversation and people the next thing they will begin to bring Igbo into it. What has Igbo got to do? They are not there. They, they say somebody they sleep. Somebody they wake up. Somebody they give information. What's it called concern Igbo for inside now? That they they give reports of what is happening in their carcass. They can't do without mentioning Igbo. Igbo, the economy pillar of Nigeria, jealousy and envy. Envy has eaten up your tribe. Igbo keeps shining. I don't understand. Nigeria drama, something is definitely cooking. Soon it will be exposed. Sure, nothing hidden that will not be revealed, that will not be exposed. Keyamu is demarketing this man. I hope eh, his image handlers are aware. Seriously demarketing him. So, when he's in Villa, Sheyu will now be de facto president why his father sleeps all day <laughs> i'll be honestly keyamu has never been a responsible dude before this useless regime appoints him a minister may he sleep well before he finally sleeps let him return all the looted for, from <laughs> from market to parks roads so gates and and so on i know that a uh, fusha williams won't allow this man contest Funsha is sleeping beside his bed. Go use spiritual high to check. There's no rest for the weekend. <laughs> hear her. Oh my god, sleeping in another man's in another man's country and you are you are feeling good. Yay. Oh my god. Oh my god. This man is not even doing a good job, honestly. Because I uh, see uh, when when things don't do rough for rough, we not see what you want to do. People always say always talk about bad markets when you have a bad market hey ah shall you be the one answering questions and telling nigerians about tinubu nigeria ied you can still call him back now many time you don't wake up may he sleep in perfect peace we don't even want another sleeping president nigerians don't mind kenyamu tinubu we won't rule nigeria the whole strategic meeting in london did least trust come to nigeria to hold strategic meeting in to rule UK in Lagos, bo- uh, bloody liars in APC. Soon, listening to Mohammed will soon tell us his story. No credible person in the party, but I only pity Yoshibaju for missing with such people. He must be regretting the day he joined APC. I may forget that one. Uh, you don't know before. So, guys, that's what we say. I'm all, mm, sleeping, sleeping. <laughs>